The rare bit of good news for Prince Harry today, he's won the latest stage of his legal battle against the publisher of the Daily Mail. A judge has ruled that the Duke of Sussex can continue his unlawful information gathering claim in the High Court. Well, let's speak now to the Royal Commentator, Angela Levin. Angela, a rare bit of good news for the Ginger Winger. What's your take on this? Well, it's not just good news for him. I mean, the Associated think. Um that they have got good news. Uh, it just depends on what the judge does. This is not a criminal case, um, so he will make the decision on his own. The problem is that the newspaper thinks that they're far too late. It's six years too late to make complaints. The judge has said that they might have discovered something that they didn't know before, but changes that and makes it fresh and they can um, complain. Um, it's just um, quite a difficult situation, I think. Um, Harry might do all right and he absolutely might not. But the judge said that the Associated Newspaper didn't have enough knock a knockout blow, but they do know that a lot of the things that Harry has said cannot be repeated because they don't believe that they're actually uh, happened. Um, so, you know, that's the case at the moment, and it'll go on and on and on and on, I think. And, Andrew, it's worth pointing out that the Associated News, uh, they strenu strenuously deny these allegations, and they've described them as preposterous smears and a pre-planned and orchestrated attempt to drag the mail titles into the phone hacking scandal. So, aside from the, the legal um, ramifications, is this the kind of thing, in your opinion, that a member or previous member of the royal family should be doing, going to court as an ordinary member of the public or a celebrity may do? Well, I think he's um, largely celebrity and not very royal at the moment. And um, he is entitled to do these things. The royal family don't like to do that or come to court because it exposes them in a way that's not really royal or um, properly done. Um, but he wants to try. Um, this is something that he's wanted to do for years, and that is bring the British um, newspapers down and out. He doesn't want anybody in this country to criticize him and he wants to punish anyone who does. We've been quite understanding about Harry, but on the other hand, we've pointed out all the, the wrongdoing that he's done and he and Meghan don't like that one bit. Um, I just want to say one thing about the, the mail and that is they've always denied that they did anything like um, phone hacking. Whereas the Mirror of the Sun and the News of the World all said, uh, yes, we, we did and settled out of court. So I think that is actually quite interesting anyway. Um, but we will have to see, It'll, you know, we then will face how much the taxpayer has to pay for him to come over, mm. all his protection, officers so it's going to cost us an awful lot of money and he will feel very grandiose about it even though he's no longer a working royal